Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where I show off a cool PowerShell module every Monday. This Monday, we're looking at Poshbot. Poshbot is a chatbot written in PowerShell. It integrates with things like uh, Slack and Microsoft Teams so that you can issue commands to your Poshbot and you can have it trigger off certain things that happen inside your channel as well as schedule tasks. So I'm going to look at the basics. I'm going to get Poshbot up and running. We're going to issue some commands to Poshbot, and then we're going to look at how to integrate with events that happen in your chat room. I'm not going to get too into the configuration details because there's a lot going on. You can do a ton of stuff with Poshbot. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to actually set up a API token so that Poshbot can communicate with your um, pretty much your chat room. So I'm using Slack, and I set up an API token for my workspace. So I have this. Uh, pretty much Poshbot API token set up, and then you just have a string that you provide to Poshbot. So let's actually take a look at my Poshbot configuration here. So I have my key coming in, and I'm storing that in a variable. I'm importing the Poshbot module, um, and then I'm setting up some basic settings. So first of all, you want to set up bot admins. So this is my Slack username, and I have like the admin capability to install new plugins and that kind of thing. Um, this is where you set the key, so I'm actually using the Slack backend. Depending on your uh, chat system, you might have to change the backend, but in this case, I'm using Slack. And then I have my key set for the token. Uh, finally, I've set up some other things. I have an alternate key command prefix, which allows me to use uh, not only the um, pretty much the exclamation point to issue commands, but I could also use the universal um, string to issue commands and then I've configured the plugin directory to this local folder here so that we can kind of look at some of the configuration as it happens. So uh, once I have all that configured you can create a new Poshbot configuration and then start up Poshbot. So now I have Poshbot up and running and you'll see that in this Poshbot folder it has all these um, PSD1 files that are more or less the configuration for Poshbot. I have things like groups, permissions, so there's all different kinds of permissions you can set, and roles. So um, I'm not going to get into the specifics of that. I really haven't played around with it too much, but it looks like there's tons of different ways to configure Poshbot. So let's actually go ahead and play with Poshbot a little bit. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is install a plugin to actually be able to uh, issue commands to Poshbot. So Poshbot actually uses PowerShell modules as plugins, and then the commands inside those modules are ex or exported as pretty much commands that you can issue inside Poshbot. So for example, if I just wanted to install like a plugin that is somewhere on my system, for example, I have PowerShell Protect installed, and when I call the install plugin, um, command, you'll see that it found the PowerShell Protect module. Um, that's just installed in my PS module path. And then it brought in all the commands for PowerShell Protect. So now I could issue these commands um, via Poshbot. But let's actually use a command that I built, or a module I built for Poshbot. Um, and I have that in the plugins folder here. So I have this universal Poshbot um, module. It's just a basic PowerShell module that I really haven't customized too much except for um, some basic commands. And then um, it has uh, these four commands in here, and we'll kind of get into the uh, specifics of each one of those. So if I want to um, install this plugin, what I could do is just do install plugin universal uh, poshbot. So it's actually going to go ahead and import that module, and it found my uh, four commands. So uh, this is the first place it's going to look for commands or plugins. So if you do have you know something named to this somewhere else, it's not going to find it because it's always going to look in this plugins folder first. So now that I have these plugins installed, you can see that another configuration file was added. In this case, it has like a listing of all the plugins that are installed, where they're installed, and then all the commands that they um, that they uh, have. And then you can do things like you can actually um, set permissions and stuff like that on the individual commands or the um, plugins themselves. So let's actually go ahead and issue one of the commands from my module. So like I said before, I had an alternate command prefix. So I can do something like this as well. I can say universal and then comma, and then I could say hello. Whoops, it's not going to find hello. But uh, if I get rid of that backslash, Now you can see it's going to execute hello, and it says hello. Uh, it pretty much takes the um, the output from write host or write output, and then outputs that as a message uh, via the Slack bot. 
So uh, let's get a little more fancy. And what I've done is I've actually imported the um, universal module. So I have universal running um, in this other PowerShell console. I have an app token and the computer name set up. And if you look in universal, I have uh, a single script here um, up and running. And we're gonna mess with that via Poshbot. So first of all, we wanna be able to get our script. So there's a commandlet for getting scripts out of PSU. Um, so get UA script will actually return all the scripts. And instead of just outputting stuff to the, um, the a, as text, as you saw here, I'm actually gonna use a poshbot command to output a little bit prettier um, response. So I can use the new poshbot card response to send out text, a title, and I can even send a link URL to this particular script. So let's go ahead and try that out once. So I'm gonna do get script. And now it's actually gonna go call Poshbot. Poshbot's then gonna call universal. It's gonna get that script and it's gonna format it as this nice little card. So cards actually have lots of options. And you can see here that um, I've just set a couple of them. I set the content text, I set the title, and I actually set a link in the title. So now if I click that, you can see that it actually takes me up over to my script that's uh, inside Universal. So um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but the other thing that Poshbot can do is it can actually take um, parameters. So let's take a look at this uh, invoke script uh, function that I have here. It has two parameters. Um, it has a name and a user. So name is the name of the script that I want to execute. And then user is just a parameter that I'm passing to that script uh, for Universal. Um, then I'm going to use a new Poshbot card response to actually output um, to uh, to Slack via the card again. This time I'm going to actually set it to the job that's being run. Um, one other thing you might notice is this Poshbot or Posh yeah Poshbot bot command attribute. It allows you to customize certain things about the commands. So for example, I'm exporting this invoke script, but I wanted to actually call it uh, run. So if you notice when I first imported this module, uh, the commands that were listed were get script, hello, and run. It wasn't invoke script. So that pretty much allows you to rename the commands based on um, what is in this bot command attribute. So I renamed this to run. So let's go ahead and actually run a script from um, here. So you can say universal run. And to add uh, parameters, you need to use two hyphens. So I'm gonna do the uh, test.ps1 script, and I'm going to pass into call it user, username, user. Uh, let's say Adam. So now it's actually going to run this script, and you're going to see that it's going to invoke that in Universal, and job 17 was started. So we actually got that information from the Universal API and got it through Poshbot, and it created this card. And now I can click on that um, job and we can see the output from the job. And what's cool is this atom string was actually passed in via that Poshbot argument. So not only was I able to kick off the script, but I was able to actually pass in um, additional arguments to uh, that job. So um, that's real neat and that's kind of how you interact with commandlets. So you can see here that um, I can call commandlets and scripts. Um, I can add parameters and pass those in as well. I can also customize um, the command. So there's a bunch of other things that you can do with the bot command attribute. And one of those things is you can actually set up triggers. So um, what I've done here is I've actually set up a uh, VB script trigger. Um, and there are a bunch of different triggers. So if you actually go to the uh, documentation for Poshbot and look in this triggers section, and you scroll down to the trigger types, there's actually a bunch of different things that you can trigger on um, when you know Poshbot receives messages for these things. So if someone joins the channel or left the channel, um, if things are clicked or pins are added, um, one really cool one is regex. So if there is a message that contains or matches a particular regex, it'll actually issue um, the command that you define uh, inside this function. So that's what I've done here is I've set up a poshbot bot command. Uh, you can't issue this command directly. That's why command is false. And then the trigger type is regex. So it's gonna look at all the messages that are uh, running inside your channel. Um, and then this is the regex I'm actually searching for. So pretty much if a string contains VB script, uh, it's gonna execute this command. 
and then uh, it's just going to write, uh, we don't discuss that here in write output. So now if I actually come in here and I were to say, hey, uh, VBScript, well, man, is cool. And then I hit enter there. Poshbot's going to check, take a look at that message, and then it's going to actually execute um, that command. And it says we don't discuss that here because it doesn't want us to talk about VBScript. So um, like I said, uh, there is a ton of stuff that you can do with Poshbot. Um, definitely take a look at the docs. Um, there's lots of cool examples, that kind of thing. Some of the stuff that I didn't get um, totally into are scheduled commands and tasks. You can do kind of rules around the channels where certain commands can be run. Um, there's all kinds of different um, kind of role-based access things that you can integrate with. And it also... Uh, note that it also integrates with Teams and Discord. So there are back ends for uh, both of those chat systems as well. So in this video, we took a look at the basics of Poshbot. Um, I definitely suggest you go give it a shot. And if you like videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel.